everyone. It's Jamie Zebra 23. So I want to talk, I guess, I want this to be more of an interactive conversation. So I would definitely like to hear in the comment section or read in the comment section what everyone's input is on the subject. So in my experience, as a woman that's over the hill, in my experience, this is how it's worked with me. So, and what I've, how I've seen it work with other people where it's not worked. So every, any man that I've ever been with that was actually serious, they knew what they wanted to do with me from day one. They knew if they wanted to marry me, if they wanted to have children with me, if they wanted to be a forever thing or a fling. They knew what they wanted and they voiced it very early on. The ones that were serious, I never had to wonder if they liked me or not because they made it very, very known. The ones that were serious, when I tried to walk away, they didn't allow it. They would simply ask, what needs to be done to make this work between us? What do you need me to do? From day one, every man that I was with that was serious took out my trash. If they saw dishes in my sink, they'd be like, oh, let me help you. They did those couple of dishes that were in the sink without being asked. Um, they'd be like, oh, I'm at a restaurant. What? I'm, I'm getting you food. What do you want? I'm getting you food. What do you want? Not, hey, um, if you're hungry, I'm getting you. Nope, I'm at a restaurant, I'm getting, I'm getting you food. What is it that you want or do you want me just to surprise you? Oh, I noticed your light bulb was out over there so I, brought, I just bought some light bulbs. Here, let me put it, let me fix it. Oh, your table's wobbly. Do you have a screwdriver? Oh, you don't? Okay, let me go to my car and get one. Or let me go to my truck and get one and fix this table. Any guy that I've ever been with that was serious did those things. I even remember one guy... I, I'm not even going to name names because all the exes watch the videos and they'll just be like, oh, she's reminiscing. She wants me back. I don't want any exes back. I'm just saying this for the sake of saying, of proving a point. I even had one ex. I was like, sorry, my car is broken down um, and I won't be able to see you. I, we can't, we can't go out tonight. Sorry. He's like, oh, no, no, no. We can still see each other. I'm coming over right now. Um, I know how to fix cars and anything I can't fix. <coughs> I'll call my dad or my uncle to come right now. Literally that night we were supposed to go on our first date. Guess what we did? <laughs> we fixed my car, fixed my brake line, all that good stuff, all that night till like three o'clock in the morning. So, and then I ended up married to that person and I ended up having my first child with that person. So, um, you know, there's, you know, there's things. And then even after, even up until five years ago, like five, six years ago, I still had the same instances happen and I married that person as well. So these men know what they want to do the point of me saying this is ladies and maybe some men, I mean, I can't speak for a man because I'm not a man, but I have noticed that the guys that would text me and then stop texting me and then come back again later, that never went anywhere. Those, those situations never go anywhere. So now my question to you guys, three minutes later, three minutes, 30 seconds later, is what advice do you guys have I don't want to say advice. Let, let me say your experiences for people in the dating world, because I, I notice a lot of women waste their time. So if a man is inconsistent with you, he's probably not interested in you. I've also noticed that, um, well, he didn't say he wasn't interested. Well, he doesn't need to say he's not interested. Well, what's the point of him showing up, being all nice to me and then disappearing? Because that's what men do. For them, it's just fun. For, you know, for, and for, I mean, I can't speak for all men and I can't speak for all women, but from what I know to be true, you know, m men think differently when it comes to women and women think differently when it comes to men. So for, for many women, we're looking for one person. We want to put our time and attention into one person. Whereas many, you know, a lot of men, they prefer to put one good evening, one good weekend in with girl A then do it again with girl B, girl C, D, E, F, G, all the way up to F, and then start the alphabet all over again. For them, that's enough to keep them warm. They don't need the same person unless they want them. It's only if they want them. And men know early on what they're going to do with the woman that they meet. If a man feels like, ah, I don't know, then that's, that's what he plans to do with you. I don't know. That means whenever he feels like it, that's what it is. 
Um, if you have to ask your, if you have to ask yourself, what are we doing after three months, after six months, after a year, you're probably not doing anything. And I'm just, you know, most men know what they want to do with the woman that they're with from day one, from the first day, the first week, the first month, they've made that decision in their head. Is this person someone I can be with? Is this going to be my wife? Is this going to be my girlfriend? Is this going to be my side piece? Is this going to be my booty call? My sometimes? Because I feel really bad because I, I talk to so, you know, I talk to so many incredible women all the time. And you guys, some of you are literally models. Some of you are literally famous. Some of you are literally just, you know, diamonds in the rough. Uh, I mean, intelligent, beautiful, interesting, uh, special, I, I gifted, educated, successful. Like, I don't. And I'm just like, what's going on? I'm like, where, where's your mom? <laughs> I, you know, doing tarot card readings made me really happy I didn't have a daughter because um, I don't think I could, I would put up with this. I'd be like going to these boys in these men's houses and being like, hey, you, what are we doing here? Are we committing? Or are we not committing? If you're not committing to my daughter, then don't fucking call her anymore. Like, I'm just, you know what? God has a plan, and I think I was meant to be a boy mom. For sure, for sure, because, yeah, I'm... <laughs> oh, it would it would be some stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, jamiezebra23.com. Put your, um, I guess, put your advice or your experiences as far as when you met the one or when you met the person you married... Did it take 25 years to marry? Did the person screw you over and jack you around? Did the person text you once a month for a booty call and then you guys got married? Or was it like, we met, we dated, we did it. We happened, we got married, we had the kids, we had the kids, or we got, like, how did it go for many of you out there? Because this whole, well, he's been stringing me along for 35 years and, uh, but I know he loves me. Trust and believe, guys. Men, if a man really wants you, he's going to have you. And there's nothing that can stop him. Nothing. But maybe the police. <laughs> All right, jamiezebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.